You've seen it in the movies. Contact with aliens often ends badly for humans. So why do we keep trying to get in touch with them? We don't even know if aliens really exist. But if aliens do exist, and if they're advanced enough to detect our existence, chances are they're doing one of two things. Either they're avoiding us, or they're on their way. But the most important question is, will they come in peace? This is What If? And here's what would happen if we broadcast our existence into outer space. Whether you like it or not, the search for alien life began a long time ago. In 1960, astronomer Frank Drake used interstellar radio waves to scan distant planetary systems for signs of life. The scans came back empty. In 1977, we launched probes that contained audio recordings of Earth, diagrams of the human body, and the location of our solar system. The probes reached interstellar space in 2012, but we still haven't heard from any aliens yet. And then, betting on the fact that they're closer than we think, Doritos made history in 2008 by broadcasting the first ever video advertisement intended for potential extraterrestrial life. As usual, radio silence from the other end. Are aliens just not interested in us? Or are they coming for our snacks? Are we going to regret broadcasting our existence into space? It's estimated that the Milky Way galaxy has as many as 400 billion stars and more than 100 billion planets. To calculate how many alien civilizations might exist in our galaxy, astronomers often use the Drake equation. Not that Drake. The Drake equation basically takes every known star and planet in our galaxy and filters them through a list of criteria. It determines whether or not they could host and sustain a functioning civilization. Of course, there's too much uncertainty to come up with an accurate figure. Another problem is that our galaxy has a diameter of about 150,000 to 200,000 light years. Communicating within a galaxy of this size becomes a challenge when you realize any message we send might be ages old by the time it's received. If we sent a message to a star system that was 100 light years away, a whole century would pass on Earth by the time our alien neighbors got the message. So whatever we decided to broadcast, we'd have to make sure it represented the unified intentions of the world and that it could stand the test of time. But now, we have to consider the possible responses. It's a trap! First of all, for any alien species to be able to receive and respond to our messages, they'd have to be at least as smart as we are. They would also have to be technologically capable of receiving a radio or laser transmission. But what if aliens received our messages and simply chose not to answer? Some civilizations may protect themselves by living in secrecy to avoid being detected and potentially destroyed by rival civilizations. This is known as the dark forest theory, in which any contact with outsiders is considered dangerous. It's also possible that aliens have received our messages and are simply watching and waiting for humans to self-destruct before they come and colonize Earth. In the absolute worst case scenario, aliens have received our messages and they're on their way to Earth now. Forget what you saw in the movie Independence Day. Mankind, that word should have new meaning for all of us today. We can't be consumed by our petty differences anymore. An alien invasion would not be a good opportunity for humanity to unite against a common enemy. There wouldn't be enough time. If an alien species is advanced enough to reach Earth from their home planet, they're far more advanced than we are. We don't have the technology or the infrastructure to defend against such an invasion, and we probably won't for some time. So if we were to get attacked by aliens, humanity would be easily wiped out before we could form a globally united front against our invaders. But why do we always assume that aliens are going to be violent? For all we know, intelligent alien life might receive our messages and want to work with us. 
Of course, we could come up with a whole number of possibilities of how making contact with aliens might play out, but keep in mind that we've been broadcasting signals into outer space since the 60s and we've yet to receive a reply. For now, we just have to wait and see. Are we alone in the universe? Should we be expecting visitors anytime soon? And just so you know, aliens aren't the scariest thing in the infinite void of space. Do you know what would happen if a magnetar entered our solar system? Well, that's a story for another What If.